Now, it's being dubbed the Brexit election. On Thursday, millions of Brits headed to the polls in a snap general election, the third in a space of just five years in the United Kingdom. This one is expected to set the direction of the UK's departure from the EU. Uh, the polls close at the top of the hour, and we have our reporter, Oh Su Young, who's been following the developments overnight for her. Uh, for us here in Seoul. So, Su Young, we've been hearing some polls saying this race might be close, but according to the exit polls we've just been looking at uh, between reports, it appears that isn't really the case, right? That's right, Mark. As ballots closed at the top of the hour, where we just heard the exit poll come out, and um, if there's anything to go by, it seems that the Conservative Party is going to see a strong majority. Um, it looks like the Conservatives will gain around 368 seats. Mm. Labour will perform the worst it has um, seen since 1983 with 191 seats. The Liberal Democrats, 13 seats, and the Scottish National Party, uh, 55 seats, and the Brexit Party looks like it won't gain any seats. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we have, um, we, we will see the results in line with recent opinion polls. Now, exit polls are for the most part accurate, but you really can't ignore the margin of error. There's always a chance of an unexpected result, as we saw in 2015, because a general election is not just one election, but 650 contests in seats across the country, each with their own dramas, personalities and political games. Yeah, we must stress that this is just an exit poll for now, but these exit polls have been pretty accurate in the past when it comes down to the final uh, results. So as it stands, at least in regards to that exit poll, the Conservative Party, led by Prime Minister Boris Johnson, would have a majority of 43, which would be an increase on their majority and uh, very bad news for the main opposition uh, Labour Party led by uh, Mr Jeremy Corbyn of course. But leading up to this election um, there had been some toing and froing on in the polls, some saying uh, Conservatives would uh, win by about nine or ten points, some saying Labour was closing the gap. Right, so even a couple of weeks ago um, most opinion polls said that the Conservatives would perhaps have around 68 seats um, in majority. But recently, they've been slimming, the majority has been slimming down to 28 seats. And, um, well, if this exit poll is anything to go by, it's the Conservatives have they done much better. Yeah, yeah, they've had a very uh, good day. And um, it's, in fact, um, it's expected to be their best performance since 1987. Now, Labour, however, is um, expected to see its worst performance since 1983, if the 191 seat prediction is right. So um, I spoke to an expert about why Labour has been seeing such a poor performance. I think Labour have had a very difficult position um, because the Conservatives are very clear on Brexit. So, however, Labour has some difficulties. Jeremy Corbyn has promised a second referendum uh, if he wins, uh, if he has a majority in Parliament. However, he himself has been sort of unwilling to uh, come down on either side when it's been put to him, who would he campaign for? Would he campaign for leave or remain? Again, he said that he will give the decision to the people. And so I think there are very mixed messages coming out of Labour. Traditionally, Labour is the voice of the working people. Labour is the voice of the progressive ideas in society. Unfortunately, we don't seem to be seeing that from the Labour Party at the moment. We also have a big split between the Labour and the Liberal Democrats. They might be taking votes away from each other. Still, the latest poll by YouGov shows we can't ignore the margin of error. There's still a chance we may see a slim Tory majority or a hung parliament where no party holds a majority. Right, so that was the poll, though, released. Uh, that's not the exit poll we're looking at the screen mm -hmm. there. That's uh, what we saw in the day or two before the election, right. and it proves maybe that that was a little bit out of line with the sentiment among the British public. But if, f for whatever reason, there's a, a big mistake in that exit poll, and like I said, they generally are fairly uh, on, on spot, these days, especially in the UK. Uh, if there was any kind of uh, 
hung parliament or uh, the Tory party had a very slim uh, majority, that could lead to some kind of horse trading going on between the parties again, which we saw under the former Prime Minister, Theresa May. Right. Well, let's say that Boris Johnson, his party does win a strong majority, then obviously Johnson would stay as Prime Minister and lead the Conservatives. Um, but if there's a slim majority or a hung parliament, then Johnson is going to have to win the support of MPs from minor parties, as uh, former Prime Minister Theresa May did with the Democratic Unionist Party. But the DUP is against Johnson's Brexit plan, which sets out a different departure term for Northern Ireland, so winning them over may prove difficult this time around. If Johnson fails to gain enough backing, then he may have to resign and Labour could instead form a majority with the Liberal Democrats or the Scottish National Party. In the final scenario, um, the Labour Party would uh, prove opinion polls wrong and gain a majority. And then, of course, Jeremy Corbyn would become Prime Minister. <laughs> yeah, but that's uh, something that's not looking likely uh, based on the exit polls, at least. And uh, if he loses in what you say would be the worst Labour Party performance since the early 1980s. you really got to wonder whether he'd uh, stay on because he has said he would resign if Labour lost elections before and, and he, uh, he stayed in the position. Uh, he's not particularly po popular, uh, especially among Conservatives, but even among members of his own Labour uh, Party, so they may need a fresh face going uh, forward. But regardless of the outcome, what it really comes down to now is Brexit, because we had this referendum in the UK three and a half years ago now, it was the biggest political mandate ever by uh, the British public to leave the EU. But here we are in late 2019, still in the European still Union. It. Yes. Is uh, any of these parties, are they going to stick to this uh, pledge or what the British po people have told them to do to actually get Brexit done now? Well, of course, this early election was called by Boris Johnson himself because he really wanted to get a move on with Brexit. Right. And in fact, the uh, mantra for his slogan during this campaign was get Brexit done. And I'm sure you've seen his Love Actually parody. Yeah. Well, Johnson has said that under his leadership, the UK would leave the EU on January 31st, 2020, and that the transition period during which the two parties... Um, during which the uh, two parties would strike up a new trade term, uh, would not be extended beyond December 2020. Meanwhile, the Labour Party has said it will renegotiate a deal that sets out closer ties with the EU and also hold a second referendum within six months. The Lib Dems and the SNPs have said that they will cancel Brexit, but of course the chances of them winning or gaining a majority is really slim to none. So can a Tory or Labour victory really put an end to the drama? Well, most experts and members of the public are really unsure. A lot of people doubt the validity of uh, Prime Minister Johnson's claims. And at the same time, they doubt the validity of uh, Jeremy Corbyn's election pledges to spend £100 million during the next decade in Scotland. You know, there's a lot of numbers and money being bandied about, but how much of this is actually reliable is, is a very important thing. And I would say the British public are rightly becoming a little bit sceptical. And so I think the British politicians need to make Yeah, sceptical is one word uh, to call it. But uh, thank you very much, Suyong. And uh, I guess we'll be seeing the final results very soon. But for now, uh, it would appear that it is Prime Minister Johnson who's popping the champagne uh, at the moment. Uh, a little less joy in the Corbyn camp. But we'll, we will see whether that exit poll is correct. Just a reminder, if you've just tuned in, uh, the, the exit poll shows the Conservative Party, led by Johnson, uh, perhaps getting a majority of 43, which, is, which, which would be great news for him. Su Young, thank you very much for coming in, and hopefully you'll keep us updated throughout the day. Thank you. Thank you.